So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a lattice pie crust two ways with very even, beautiful, perfectly spaced uh, thick lattice and then in kind of uneven, fluted lattice. So let's get into it. The things you need, obviously, is your pie crust. You can use any of my pie crust recipes. This is my all butter pie crust that I made using the stand mixer method. Um, so I've got two of those and then I've got a rolling pin. You can use a French rolling pin like this one or just a regular flat, whatever rolling pin you have, that's what you should use. We're gonna need some bench flour, something to put this on because you don't just like plop this right in the oven and then expect it to be all flaky and stuff, no. Uh, it's gotta chill. So we've got that and then we're gonna put some parchment. And that's it. So let's get into it. Get yourself some bench flour, just like you're rolling out a bottom pie crust. It's the same concept. You wanna work quickly because you want, even though we're gonna do a lot of work per se, it's gonna take a little more time. You still want that beautiful flaky crust and the only way to get that is to keep it cold. So this is chilled overnight, uh, but two hours is fine. Go ahead and flour your rolling pin, flour your surface. Okay. And then we're just gonna start rolling it kind of like, I honestly, I like to roll my lattices in like a more of a, a rectangle and less of a circle because you're gonna get more usable pieces that way. So go ahead and start rolling. The goal is to get this to about an eighth of an inch. You know, a 16th is fine, especially if you're, you know, working with a little less um, dough. This going, we're almost there. Some parts are a little thinner than others and that's where the French rolling pin is really nice because you can actually kind of apply pressure in an uneven way to even out your crust. You're like, that doesn't look like it's gonna cover a pie. I know. Okay, so we got some nice long pieces. We're gonna go up and finish rolling this way so you get some shorter ones to kind of finish your lattice off on the sides. You could do this with bicycle cutters, which are those ones that kind of accordion out and they've got all those little rolls and that's amazing. Uh, but I don't have that here. I just have pizza cutter. I'm gonna do conveniently the width of a ruler, which is about one and a half inches. So go ahead and just cut all the strips. You're like, you're kind of crazy, I know. But trust me, it's gonna make a beautiful, even pie. So I like to go ahead and kind of use the bottom of the pan as an indicator um, of what my, you know, width needs to be. And now here we go. So you're gonna start with one piece, right? Now I like to unevenly distribute because I will take these side pieces and I will use them to create more. I know, super secret tricks here. So I'm gonna give a little bit of a space here. And then so I've got two going this way and I'm gonna start latticing across because I obviously have fat lattices and we're running out of options over here. So go ahead and fold one back, place one across, and then fold it back over. And then you're gonna go the opposite way. So then you're gonna take the opposite side and you're going to take one piece and fold it back across. Mm -hmm. And then we can go this way if we'd like. Go ahead and take this piece, this piece looks nice. So we've got our or side and then we've got two pieces so we'll pull those back you want to make sure that you're always going over under over under so these are going under and so they are going to be the overs on the next round so go ahead and place that where it is fold them back and then now we've obviously run out of dough but stress not because we are going to steal yes some classic thievery so we're going to take some pieces here Take this is a nice piece right here. Boop. So it was this one. Okay. And then we are looking at where our mold is. So we've already come all the way around. And we want to put one more on this side. Cover that up. Boop. Now, you've got yourself a chunky lattice. And we are going to take this and transfer it over here. It looks like it might be sad, right? You're like, oh, but it's not going to be sad. You see it on the bike. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transfer this to our sheet and we're gonna do the next one. 
we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to rotate it. And then we are going to cut with the fluted part. And I'm going to cut mismatched sizes. I'm going to do some fat ones, I'm going to do some thin ones. This is my favorite way to make pie crust, to be honest. Um, because I just love the asymmetry of it. So we're going to just, however you, whatever mood strikes you. So when you lattice, you're going to have that variation. Now you can always go and make bigger, smaller pieces from the bigger ones. So if you find yourself in need of different sizes, you know, err on the larger side. And do know that the, the really tiny ones might sink into your pie crust or your pie filling, depending on what you're making. So there's that fun fact. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move these up lovingly, gently. If they don't want to move, move them just with care. And then we're going to use the same template. Boom. A parchment. Okay. And now we start. I like to start with the fat ones. Why? I just think it gives us an anchor, right? So I'm going to take a fat one. I'm going to take a thin one. Mm, like another kind of moderately thick one here. <sighs> yes. Okay. And maybe one more. Now you can see that this was the exact same amount of pie crust, pie dough, that was in the other one. But you can see that it looks like there's way more. And that is because the fat ones, there really is like very little margin for error. So we're going to take every other one, we're going to fold them back, and we're going to start with another chubby one. Mm, do I want that in the center? No. Like a medium chubby one. And we're going to fold those two back over. And then I'm going to go back this way. So these are the overs and these are the unders. I'm going to pull those up and I'm going to take, you know, a smaller one and pull those back down. And then I'm going to all to go back to the other side. I'm like, I want a real thin one. Yep. Pull it back down. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go this way. Now I want my fat one. Now I want, like, I kind of want an offset, so I'm going to go ahead and put it here, pull those back down, and then I'm going to keep going until I have covered the entire thing. And I'm just keeping in mind, like, I want variation in the sizes, so now I'm going to go this way, so there's a lot more of them. You want to make sure that you get the unders, and then pull those up, the unders, pull the unders up, grab another one. Mm -hmm to a thin one. Pull those down. But you can see that there's a lot more weaving that takes place with the small ones. So go ahead and pull up the ones that went under and grab yourself a nice piece here. Pull them back down. And then let's see, I'm going to, do you see, I'm, I'm still keeping in mind my shape um, that I've that traced on the bottom because uh, I definitely want to make sure that I've covered that. So I'm going to do one over here, I see a lot more that's uncovered. Okay, one more. Ooh. Okay, and then I see that there's a bit up here as well, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those. And I'm going to, okay, I'm going to do one more over here, and then I think we're good. Yep, I do. Do, do. I'm going to use the fat one because he's here for us and I feel like he feels neglected. All right. Boom. There she is. She doesn't look super sexy right now. She's getting there, right? She's like half dressed. So we're going to put it back in the fridge with the other one and we're going to let it chill at least 30 minutes. But honestly, it's going to take probably in a normal fridge about an hour. You really want that butter to re-solidify. You want the gluten to relax. Like she just did a lot of work here. She's like stretched and pulled and like, we want her to just take a breath. And now that you know how to lattice, you are able to top any sort of double crust pie you want. You could do my mixed berry pie, you could top an apple pie, or you could even use it to top a cobbler in like a fun and different way to like spice up your summer barbecue. Just saying, these are ideas.